Doug and PA back with another video. So this is an update on the Kevin Costner situation. I did a video about it earlier on my channel. Him and his wife are getting divorced. She, They have a prenuptial agreement in place that's supposed to be ironclad. Since she filed for divorce, she's supposed to vacate the marital home. She's supposed to vacate the premises, but she was staying and not leaving because she wanted more money and she didn't want to abide by the prenup. So we have an update here. It's called Kevin Costner to live in his 145 million Santa Barbara compound and his estranged wife will get a six figure child support payment for now. We're going to get into this article. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It's just you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's see what's going on with Kevin Costner and, and his wife. It says, so that's him right there. Kevin Costner and his estranged wife have been in court in July hashing out a heated divorce case. A judge side with Costner in asking his former partner to move out, but also awarded her 129,000 in child support. So she has to get off the premises. She was, um, she was living in a separate house and, and tried to say that she should still be able to live there because there's enough space um, in, in the other home where they could live on the same property and not see each other. Get out of here. But, Kevin Costner offered her 30000 in child support, according to the prenup, and she's getting 129000 for now. With the respective wins, they have a prime opportunity to settle the rest of their assets privately, experts said. That's probably not going to happen. Amid a heated divorce battle, actor Kevin Costner and his estranged wife have been presented with an exit ramp in recent weeks to take their public feud private. This month, a Santa Barbara judge has asked Christine Barbner Baumgartner to move out of Costner's sprawling 145 million Santa Barbara compound by the end of July and has separately ruled that Costner must pay her 129,000 child support until the divorce is finalized. So it's being temporarily increased until they, they go to court again to talk about the, the prenup. Legal experts told Insider that the pair would be best served by setting privately at this juncture. That's not going to happen. Um, the judge's ruling on child support came after Baumgartner had asked for $217,300 and Costner also offered her $51,000. Oh, okay, so he offered $51,000. The order will require Baumgartner to cover half of their three children's expenses, which Costner had covered according to court filings. Costner has sought joint custody of the children. Uh, at the core of the case is a premarital agreement between the couple, which Baum Gardner is challenging. One, like I said, there's, I've said this on other videos. People try to say that, oh, prenuptial agreements, they work. Okay. Until she doesn't want it to. This is supposed to be ironclad. And Kevin Costner, the reason why he got this prenuptial agreement was his first marriage. He got thrown out on his butt and had to sleep on a friend's couch while his divorce was getting finalized and he didn't want that to happen again this is supposed to be ironclad safe tight prenup and she's challenging it and using his money to challenge it so far a judge has already sided with Costner in upholding its validity by ordering Baumgartner to move out of his home after she filed for divorce which was one of the provisions per court filings. But in determining child support for the for Baumgartner, the judge also deviated from the prenuptial agreement, which required Costner to pay her thirty thousand. Okay. So yeah, the prenup said thirty thousand. He decided to, to offer her fifty one thousand because she wanted two hundred and seventeen thousand, but she's getting one hundred and twenty nine thousand. They both had something to lose, Marilyn Shinnitz, a divorce attorney and partner at Blank Rome told the insider. It's a short-term victory for her. It encourages both people to try to walk out and resolve the case. Baumgartner filed for divorce in May, and the split has been highly acrimonious, with the former couple lobbing barbs about each other through court filings. While the judge threw out a number of uh, threw out a number accounting for moving costs. Final child support payment figures will be determined when their assets are set and the divorce is finalized. Uh, this could be a motivation for Costner to move to a quick and private resolution, as well as for Baumgartner, who could salvage more marital assets outside of child support in the settlement talks. Um, Costner is seeking 99000 from Baumgartner due to the legal fees he has spent fending off her challenge to their premarital agreement. Now, 
she had put her the a hundred thousand dollars for her legal fees on his credit card. So he's had to spend ninety nine thousand dollars uh fighting this stuff and he has to pay the hundred thousand that she used of his money to to start divorcing him and trying to do all this stuff in the first place. Um Baumgartner, who has claimed no individual incomes in court filings, may also be motivated to avoid a mounting legal bill as the child support payments could soon change. Ahead of a scheduled November trial, the most painless way for is to settle the remaining matters and assets privately, as a current judge has steered more in Coster's favor, as she should. There's the ironclad prenup. Guys, this is another, this is making the case, guys, don't get married in 2023. Just don't do it. All these stories, they're just telling you why you shouldn't do it. You know, if you want to co cohabitate with a woman, go for it, you know, but d don't marry her because she can divorce you and do exactly what's happening to, to Kevin Costner. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.